Okay, so in this video I wanted to take a walk through on how I get from an image into a finished graphite mold. It's basically through a few websites and then the uh, CNC engraver machine. I got this from AliExpress last year, uh, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, basically I start with something off Thingiverse. In this case, I uh, just for some fun, I went got the Illuminati mold that some uh, somebody had made up and then that gets imported into Tinkercad and basically I make a 3D rendering of it and this program is super easy to use and basically you just drop it in create a mold like pocket and from there I send it over to Kirimoto which is a little bit more uh, advanced to show you, but um, what that does is it basically converts it into G-code, which is something the CNC machine can understand, and then that's sent over to the CAD. And basically it's about an hour, two hours maybe sometimes, to, uh, to get everything all set up. And then the actual cutting, uh, I usually just let it run overnight because I pretty fine steps uh, just so I don't break any bits but uh, it's just a matter of how complex you want to make a mold or and you can see some of the ones I've done here so the writing you can kind of see it I think next time I make it a bit deeper a bit bigger and the uh, silver would flow into a little better and there's the finished Illuminati I've still got to trim it shine it etc etc and that one you can see right there is basically where the uh, CNC machine skipped sometime in the middle of the night and then by the time I got to it it had finished so basically when I was pouring I just blocked that section and it, uh, it poured almost okay this is the first one I did again shows really nice but again it doesn't pour as nice it doesn't really pick up a lot of the details They're, too, they're just too fine for the silver to get into. Just doing a hand pour. Bitcoin, again, my brother asked for something just for fun. That one turned out really well. It's easy to get into. Let's see if I can get a focus here. There we go. And the standard blocks I'm using are a uh, 50 by 50 by 20. I get these either eBay, AliExpress, Amazon, uh, whatever, wherever I see, find them for relatively cheap, and then uh, away I go. So that is it in a nutshell. Maybe I'll do another video later that kind of details more the Kirimoto side of things, but there's a ton of videos out there to show you how to work that. So. Anyways, until later.